So I'm out hunting for that elusive morning mist. I'm back with the trees, wanting to get into that, that gnarly one where the branch fell off. I'll get into that more later and hope for some mist and some sunrise color. As you can see, there is some mist around. It's not hugely thick. Don't know how long it's gonna last. Certainly, once the sun comes up, it will be gone, but fingers crossed that it lasts that long because there's not much color otherwise. There's not a cloud in the sky. It was nice getting out here with the stars, but uh, yeah, fingers crossed. image I don't like the empty bit of ground on the left. If I've moved around just a little to the left or taken the shot from a bit lower so the foreground plants covered the area I think it would have worked a lot better. You'll see later on I ended up focusing more on the right hand side of the tree and I do like those compositions a lot more than this one. So I didn't quite get the composition right in this image either. As with the last image, the main problem is the unattractive patch of empty ground in the middle of the frame. And also, as with the last one, this could have been easily solved just by being a little lower. Later on, I took another panorama from further to the left, which you'll see works a lot better. As in this image, the fallen branch on the right hand tree with all its leaves is just an indistinct dark mess. The background tree on the left does interfere a little with the tree in the foreground, but that's something I'm okay with thanks to the mist, if the problems in the middle of the frame weren't there. sun comes up that the mist stays around just at least for a little bit so I can get some of that nice golden light with the mist in it. Fingers crossed. Oh, I'm not confident the mist is, isn't that thick this morning so we'll see.
where the sun came out just didn't really work. Um, I was hoping that what I would get would be some light through the, um, coming through behind the tree to light it up. And while there was some light that kind of came through, the mist wasn't that heavy and it wasn't quite in the right place. I'll have to have a look at uh, where the sun goes as the winter kind of progresses. It's not even actually winter yet. It feels like it. It's particularly cold for this time of year here. Anyway, uh, and see if it's going to work any better at some later time. So I think you'll see that the composition in the second panorama works a lot better than in the first, particularly if it had been taken when there was still mist around. It's also just a better spot to be taking a photo of the right hand tree as there's the fallen branch in the background under the left branch instead of an ugly bit of dirt. The light in these last images is a little harsh because as I said before the light didn't fall behind the trees as I'd hoped earlier on. I am happier with all these later images more now than I was at the time of taking them though and I think the backlit spiderwebs and the rusty colour of the dying plants have a lot to do with that. So the mystery of this tree is finally solved. It is all just one tree, not two. And this bit was a big branch and it's, the whole thing has cracked off. So the branch has fallen off, but it hasn't died just yet. So, so that's what's going on here, this. So it's still, still living even though it's uh half on the <laughs> half lying down quite unusual so i've just been having a wander around after the sun came up to have a better scout out of this area now that i can actually walk around it's just remarkable the difference a few weeks has made to how much plant growth there is here so it's good the only problem is is that in closer here uh it it's not that attractive for a foreground particularly all the cow pats and stuff that are around the base of the tree so i think it's still going to be a case of mostly the the better photos are going to be from a little bit further back with the long lens so i am going to come back and take a photo of the tree from this angle which is similar to where i took it from last year now that this branch is down just to get that juxtaposition of of change so i think next time there's a good morning that i come out here this is the spot I'm going to head to. As I was leaving, I took this image as a composition I really want to return to on another misty morning. I love the twisty branches on this tree that look like arms reaching out. There are just so many more photos to take in this spot. I can't wait to get back. So I think the thing from today is to be aware of how quickly things can change just from you know a few weeks and look i living in a place where we don't get that distinctive seasons like a lot of you in the northern hemisphere do of your autumn color and then snow in winter and then the amazing flowers and growth in spring uh 
it's it's just not so distinct here. We don't have deciduous trees. There is no snow. <laughs> so uh, it's still surprising just how much change can happen. So yeah, keep keep going and finding those spots that are close to home that are easy to get to that you can keep coming back and explore and get to know really well. So the first time I was out here taking a photo of this tree, the light was fantastic, but I did make a bit of a mistake that I didn't realize until after I got home. If you wanna check that out, it's right there for you. All right, get outside, get taking photos, and I'll see you all next time.